right. So, to my understanding is, uh, I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to live your life, right? In fact, I'm just someone that's actually in your seat. I'm the person that's learning as much as you are as you're growing up. So, I have a quote um, by a Chinese proverb saying, teachers open the door, but you must enter it by yourself. Now, I don't know entirely what that means, but the gist that I have of it is, you know, you gotta learn how to do things on your own. You gotta take things into your own matter. So I broke it down into three categories. The first one is taking initiative. And the second one is uh, accomplishing those things that you want to accomplish, right? And the last one is embracing it, embracing yourself, in fact. So, as I, the first thing that I want to talk about is taking initiative. Now, as I mentioned before, I am 40% hearing impaired from both of my ears. That means I cannot hear from both sides 40% less than you guys. So, I've always been the person to try to express myself, and I've always wanted to do music. So I took initiative to tell my mom that maybe I don't want to be someone in an office. I don't want to be someone that's got a nine to five job. I want to be someone that can earn an income the way I want to earn it. So the way I do that um, is basically just talking to my mom saying, you know, I feel like I'm someone that maybe everyone can learn something from. So being someone in the music industry may be, be the best option, option for myself. Now, moving on to my next topic is accomplishing it, right? So accomplishing it is difficult. Anything that you want to do is you, it's difficult. You got to put your hard time into it. You got to put some effort into it. And overall, you just got to be committed. So really accomplishing something or as I accomplish something in music, I go out and I hang out with my friends. In fact, just after this class, I'm gonna go to the studio and try to record another song if I can. So I'm taking it into my own matter to accomplish something that I'm told that maybe I shouldn't be able to do, but I'm still gonna do it anyways because that's what I wanna do. No one's gonna tell me what to do just as much as I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is embracing it, or embracing yourself. Um, so basically, within doing music, um, you gotta embrace yourself. You gotta you gotta make sure that you have a voice that everyone wants to listen to. Now you can't have the little squeaky voice. You can't have like a very deep voice. Or someone's not gonna actually want to listen to you. So embracing yourself and the fact that you know, I want to speak about things that people can all relate to. I want to speak about happiness, I want to speak about sadness, I want to speak about things that people are not going to lose interest in me. So the way I got to do that is just embracing myself and first, uh, first off, uh, I got to have belief in myself, I got to make sure things are said the way I want them to be said. And that's all through learning and whether you're in class, whether you're out doing something, you're always learning, so I feel like those three main categories of taking initiative of doing something, accomplishing it, and embracing yourself for it, I feel like you're gonna learn so much more as a person and be so much greater than you can also like that you can possibly be. All right, I thought you had a clear thesis statement, a good preview of what the structure was going to be, the supporting points. Uh, you have nice transitions between each of those points, so all the organizational stuff, you're doing well. You've got pretty good examples on the individual points. Also, you use personal experience as a way to talk about that. That's always easier to talk about when you're talking about your personal experience. So the content, I think, is generally really solid. Presentation issues, your voice projects effectively. I think there's good variety in your voice. Everything is very fluent, so you're doing good there. Uh, the visual things, 
Uh, you've got some indicators while you're speaking. Sometimes they're a little repetitive. Your eye contact. You, you know, I'm saying the same thing to a couple of people. I think you're going to think that it's pretty good, but you, you do have, you look down a lot. You know, you're kind of, your face is up, but your eyes are down, and so you want to try and engage us a little bit more. Uh, the body movement while you're talking, sometimes it seems purposeful, like you're going from one spot to another to emphasize a point and talk about it. But when you do it halfway through the subject and then you go back the other direction, then it suddenly looks like it's nervousness. And it often seems kind of abrupt. It's almost like you turn your whole body and walk over there instead of, you know, kind of gently walking over there and pacing yourself. It's like it's a deliberate act. And so that maybe a little bit less of that. You know, it's not what you did was wrong. It's just I think we could do with, you know, maybe... 60% instead of the 100% that we got there. All right. All right. I'm going to stop there because we want to get Kadeem in. Somebody ask him in, please. He's going to be our last speaker for the day.